Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Baxter, and I'm a developer advocate for Bluemix at IBM. Now some of you uh, probably know, I used to be heavily involved in the app dev community for uh, IBM Collaboration Solutions, uh, and that included uh, IBM's products like uh, IBM Connections and IBM Domino, uh, and many of the uh, developers uh, within that community often asked me um, if they can use their Domino applications and Bluemix, and if they can deploy their Domino apps to Bluemix. Uh, and unfortunately, the answer uh, right now is no, you cannot do that. Uh, there's no build pack that will allow you to run, for example, an XPages application uh, in, in the cloud on Bluemix. However, they're not completely out of luck. Actually, um, there is still a way you can leverage your Domino uh, investment in uh, um, in your applications that you deploy to Bluemix, uh, and the, and how you do that is by leveraging the database portion of Domino. Uh, so using uh, the NSF as just a data store as as opposed to a data store and uh, an application. And Domino is very good at storing data. It's one of the original NoSQL databases that's that's out there, and it's been doing NoSQL for a very long time. Um, so one of the simplest applications I've, I've built in, in my time as a developer advocate for Bluemix is the to-do application. It's very popular just because it's very simple, very easy to get started. And the to-do apps that I've built uh, basically use um, uh, Domino, I'm sorry, use uh, Cloud in, uh, or Mongo database or Mongo database to store uh, on the to-do items. And it's written in various different languages: Node, Java, Python, uh, PHP, etc. Um, so I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to build the same to-do application, uh, but storing to-dos in Domino? Uh, so uh, you can do that. It's definitely possible. Um, and uh, the way you do that is uh, by making sure that your Domino server can talk to your application running in Bluemix. Now, some of you are saying, well, Bluemix is a public cloud offering, meaning my applications are running in the public cloud. In order for my application running in Bluemix to talk to my Domino server, my Domino server needs to be exposed to the, to the internet. Um, and you know, most of my Domino servers are actually exposed, uh, aren't exposed to the internet, they're behind a firewall. Well, that is also, uh, you can also work with those Domino servers as well, and I'll uh, show you an example of how to do that. So first, uh, let me show you my Domino application. So uh, I'm gonna go over to my Domino admin client here. I have my list of databases on my Domino server, and one of those databases is called Domino To Do's. And this is a very simple Domino uh, database. Um, it has a single view called To Do's, uh, and the documents within this view are uh, created using the form called To Do. And to, the To Do form has uh, three properties the title of the To Do, whether it's completed or not, uh, and what the order of the To Do is compared to the other To Do's that are in the view. So it's very simple. Um, but the first thing you need to do before you start uh, using your database um, in your uh, Bluemix applications is make sure that you have, you're able to talk to this database over REST. Uh, now Domino has, um, uh, has something called Domino Access Services, which is built into Domino. Uh, and by uh, enabling a couple of properties in your NSF, um, so if I go to File, Application, Properties here, and you go to the advanced tab over here, um, you can see that I have allow Domino data service uh, enabled from my views and documents. So you can say never, views only, and views and documents. Um, I have views and documents checked off. There's also a property either in your server document or in your uh, internet uh, site configs uh, documents as well that you need to enable. Um, but I'm not gonna show you how to do that today because it's not really the purpose of the video. Um, there's m many other resources out there for uh, for enabling um, the the REST APIs uh, in Domino. Uh, now these APIs will turn you will return you uh, allow you to perform basic CRUD operations and return you uh, data um, that's very specific to Domino. So it will give you a kind of a Domino representation of these documents uh, or this view in in uh, in JSON, which is very good, right? You don't have to write any code to get this. Um, but I really wanted something that actually returned me just the basic 
stuff that I needed, which is just the order, the completed, and the title uh, properties from my documents and my views. Um, so let's take a look at some of these REST APIs. So if I go to my REST client here, the first one I'm going to show you is the Domino Access Services representation of the view. So if I click send here, look at the response body, uh, we see there's this very much Domino stuff right in here. Things like uh, at unID, at node ID, uh, at form, stuff like that. Um, but I don't need all this stuff. Really all I want is the order, the completed, and the title. Um, so I wrote a, a plugin uh, or an OSGI bundle that I put on my Domino server using the Wink uh, APIs uh, that are part of Domino to create my own uh, REST service um, that can expose the data in a way that I like it or might obviously consume it, which is just title, order, completed, and ID. Um, but you could easily use this, the, the built-in REST APIs if you want. I just took it one step further and uh, wrote some custom uh, APIs so I can return the data models that I, that I need. So after you have the REST APIs enabled, or some REST APIs uh, for your, your NSF, um, you can uh, then uh, use them in your, in your Bluemix-based applications. But like I said, what if your Domino database is behind the firewall? Well, there's a service that's part of Bluemix called the, the Cloud Integration Service. The Cloud Integration Service basically allows you to expose APIs uh, that may be behind the firewall um, out to the public cloud using a offering called, from IBM called Cast Iron Live. And I'm not going to show you uh, how to go about using Cast Iron Live and how to expose the APIs and all that stuff. I have uh, other videos that I will link to that show you how to do all this. But essentially what I've done is I've exposed the REST APIs for my Domino server uh, using this service. So now I can use a uh, URL that points to Cast Iron Live, which is accessible via the cloud. It's not pointing to my Domino server behind uh, the firewall anymore to access the data. So if I go in here and use the Cast Iron Live URL instead, we'll see that it returns me the same exact data that the, UR the REST URL to my Domino server returns. Uh, but the difference is that this, this URL is only accessible on the network that I'm on right now, and this URL is accessible to the public internet so that my Bluemix applications can use it. So I have uh, APIs that are exposed um, for both creating, uh, reading, and updating, uh, and deleting all the to-do documents on my NSF and my Domino server. So let's go ahead and I'm going to deploy a version of my to-do application which uses these APIs. So here I'm in directory with my application and I'm going to go ahead and push this application to Bluemix. So I'm going to just run my CF push command. And this will go ahead and deploy my app up to Bluemix. Okay, our application has successfully deployed. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to go back to my dashboard here. And uh, we look at uh, to do Domino node. And you can see that this application is bound to my cloud integration service. So it's using my cloud integration service. And if I click on the URL here, You'll see that the to-dos are loading from uh, from the NSF uh, on my Domino server behind the firewall. So if I uh, go and look, just go check out the view here, we'll see that all the same to-do items in this view are now listed here in my uh, application that's running on Bluemix in the public cloud. So for example, let me just go ahead and let's just go ahead and start deleting all the ones here. These are all. Uh, old to-do items I don't need anymore. All right, so we've now emptied our database. We have no more to-dos in it. So if I go back to my Domino server and we go ahead and refresh this view, you see that database is now empty. Uh, I can even go here and let me create a to-do. So I'm going to say from uh, admin client, it's going to be the name of the title it's due, it's not going to be completed and the order is going to be one, it's going to be the first one, and we'll put, uh, we'll save this, 
And now if we go back to our application and refresh, you see here's the new to-do I just created in my NSF. So you can also create new to-dos right from the cloud, so uh, from the application in the cloud. So if I say this one is from the cloud, and I'll mark this one complete, then we go back to our Domino admin client, and go to view refresh. We see that uh, here's the new to-do that we created from the cloud in our NSF uh, on our database behind our firewall. And this one is now marked uh, true because it was marked completed in the cloud. So this is a really quick demo of uh, how you can leverage your existing Domino investments, whether those Domino investments rely uh, in the public cloud already or are uh, behind a firewall, as they are in this case, and uh, use them uh, and use the data within them uh, in your applications that are running in Bluemix in the public cloud. Um, so essentially creating a hybrid cloud environment. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned uh, how you can continue to use your domino investments in the cloud. Thanks. Bye.